This is part 111 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between rank, dense rank and row number functions in SQL Server. First, let's look at the similarities between these three functions. All these three functions return an increasing integer value starting at 1 based on the ordering of rows imposed by the order by clause if there are no ties. If there are ties, then the rules are a bit different, which we will discuss in just a bit. For all these three functions, order by clause is required, partition by clause is optional. When the data is partitioned, the integer value is reset to 1 when the partition changes. So all these are the similarities. And another important thing to keep in mind is that all these three functions are going to behave exactly the same way if we don't have duplicate values in the column that we are using in the order by clause. So if you look at these three functions here, row number, rank, and dense rank, we know that for all these three functions, order by clause is required. So we are using the order by clause. And then we are sorting the data by salary column in descending order. And if you look at that salary column in this table, notice that we don't have any duplicate values in that column. And if you look at what data this query produces, look at the row number, rank, and dense rank functions. All three of them produce the same numbering sequence. That's how the behavior is going to be if you don't have duplicate values in the column that you have used in the order by clause of these three functions. Now, I have already typed this exact same query here. Look at this. When we execute that, we get the same numbering sequence for all the three functions that we have seen on the slide. If you want to see the difference between these three functions, then we need to have some duplicate data in the column that we have used in the order by clause. So to get some duplicate data, what I'm going to do is delete the data that we already have in this employees table. And then I'm going to execute this insert script right here. And if you look at this insert script, notice that for the first three rows, we are inserting same salary, 8,000. Now, let's go ahead and execute the same query. And look at the result we get. We get a different result now. Let's see that in this PowerPoint slide. We can actually see it better here. Now look at this. For the first three rows, we have the same salary, 8,000. So there is a tie between those three rows. In this case, row number function is still going to do it the same way as it has been doing. It's going to assign an increasing unique number for each row starting at 1. So it starts from 1, goes all the way till 5, even if there are ties. Whereas if you look at the rank function for the tied rows, that is for the duplicate rows, it's giving the same rank 1. Okay, And then if you look at the row that is present after the tied rows, look at that. It didn't give it rank 2. It has skipped rank 2, 3, and for this third row it has given, I mean fourth row it has given a rank of 4. Okay, That means rank function is going to skip rankings if there are duplicate rows. If you look at dense rank function, this function, just like rank function, it's going to assign the same rank where we have ties. So in this case, it has assigned 1 for the first three rows. And then for the th fourth row that is present after the tied rows, it has given a rank of 2. It didn't skip any rank. So that's the fundamental difference between these three functions. So here is the difference. Row number returns an increasing unique number for each row starting at 1, even if there are duplicates. Rank function returns an increasing unique number for each row starting at 1. When there are duplicates, same rank is assigned to all the duplicate rows. But the next row after the duplicate rows will have the rank it would have been assigned if there had been no duplicates. So rank function skips rankings if there are duplicates. Dense rank returns an increasing unique number for each row starting at 1, just like the rank function. When there are duplicates, same rank is assigned to all the duplicate rows, but the dense rank function will not skip any ranks. This means the next row after the duplicate rows will have the next rank in the sequence. Thank you for listening and have a great day.